Hello, if you're new here, what's up? If you've been here before, what is good? Just put on earrings to look more put together. I am packing for a two month trip in just a carry on and this video goes through everything that I'm taking with me, specifically the clothes. The only thing I didn't cover was my makeup bag because my camera ran out of battery. But if you've watched any of my get ready with me is I'm taking all the makeup that I typically wear, even though I don't plan on wearing much makeup while I'm gone. It's nice to have it if you want it. All right, let's get into the clothes that I am taking with me. I'm obviously gonna mix and match everything, but first we have this misguided top. I love it. I also have it in gray, but I'm only gonna take the black one with me. And then these mom jeans are from Pullin' Bear. Next, we have these pants from American Eagle. I love traveling in them because of the side pockets. They button and it's just perfect fit for travel documents or, you know, your passport. And then this top is from Colsey. It's more of a bralette, but I always wear it as a top. Sometimes I'll put it under other shirts, but I ha literally have it in every color. <laughs> Next, I'm bringing these shorts. These are also from Pull and Bear. I love Pull and Bear denim. And then this t-shirt from Madone. It's a small business. High quality, check them out. Okay, the shorts you can also roll up. So kind of like two looks with one short. Okay, I need a chill. <laughs> um, I'm bringing this belt, which has gold hardware because I always wear gold jewelry at least for the most part. And it also is reversible. So it has a brown side and a black side. You just flip the hardware. And so, you know, two in one. These shorts are from H&M. I'm obsessed with them. They're so comfy. And then this top, very similar to the Colsey, is from Tommy John. So soft. This bralette is also from Tommy John. It has adjustable straps. This I would probably not wear just as a top, but <laughs> I'll probably like layer it, but it's so comfy. And then the shorts are from Forever 21. I'm obsessed with them. So before Forever 21's quality went to shit, um, I got these a long ass time ago. <laughs> they have pockets, I just, I'm obsessed. And then I'm also bringing this thrifted flannel just because it's warm, it's soft. You can wear it like a million ways and I don't know, it just goes with literally everything. <laughs> okay, next, I'm bringing a pair of sweat shorts. Not this pair, but they're from the same brand, which is Change. And they're super, okay, okay. They're super comfy, and the top is from Pull and Bear. And then this top is, what is this top? Top Men, so Top Shop's like man section. I'm obsessed with it, so comfy. I'm also bringing this bucket hat. <laughs> I got this at Walmart and I love it, but bitch, I'm not gonna put my bun underneath it because I literally look like an actual tortoise. <laughs> okay, next, uh, this dress. I am obsessed with this dress. I literally got it at Ross. And girl, the body oddie just body oddies. Like, oh, we love a razorback moment. It's ribbed. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting. And then I got this little, would you call this a cardigan? I don't even know what you would call this, but it's really cute, even to just throw over a bathing suit for a little bit of extra cumberbitch. And I got this at Ross as well. Can you believe it? Oof, granny core. I initially was like absolutely not gonna pair this together, but after kind of taking a second, I was like, wait, this kind of hits. This fit? Okay. But this top is from. I actually don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's some random boutique in Minnesota that I went to. <laughs> so I don't even know, but she's cute. This top is from. Pretty little thing. Got it forever ago, super versatile. And then the little button up that I threw on top of it, I thrifted, so I have no idea, but I love her too. Okay, obviously not gonna pair these jackets with shorts. I am taking those Lulu shorts though. 
that outside jacket is from the H&M men's section and then this guy is from Ross this is my new obsession as well it's literally so soft and comfy and I love pockets in the front like that and then I'm taking two long dresses and oh you're just gonna say post it for the vlogs because I did not try them on here but girl oh they're so cute okay for shoes I'm bringing these new NMDs Adidas NMDs and then these guys I got at Ross they're from like the brand Marie Fisher I don't know just some basic heels my reef chanclas tried and true mad comfy okay now we're gonna pack my luggage this is just a steve madden luggage i love it so much that i've had the same one before i just got a newer version of it <laughs> anyway i'm aligning my little packing slips with dryer sheets to keep everything nice and fresh and then i also spray my clothes with perfume he <laughs> because i don't bring my whole perfume bottle so here's one stack. Also, my Airbnbs are going to have a washer and dryer. So when I do use the dryer, I can use those little dryer sheets. I didn't show y'all, but I'm bringing obviously bathing suits, undergarments, and some workout clothes. some travel essentials just in case they don't have enough hangers bringing some portable hangers a few more dryer sheets and this little to-go mirror because you never know where the lighting's gonna hit in the airbnb this is little travel what is that called lint roller it's reusable as well you just rinse it off with hot water and it's sticky all over again this is my little to-go jewelry situation. Keeps everything nice and safe and organized. I have my shoes in this little baggie. I don't know why it says, wish you have a colorful life. Like what the fuck? Anyway, packing my extra book. I'm taking one book in my backpack, the other in here. And then packing my bathroom stuff. I'm just gonna warn you right now. My camera ran out of battery at this point, so I didn't finish filming all the stuff I'm bringing with me, but you get the gist, okay? You're seeing all the things. These are mini hair shine spray and then hair oil from a small business called Curls and Coils NYC. Check them out. Also, shout out to the body oil I'm bringing, Plain Jane by Tara & Co slaps my mini perfumes bringing two of them and that's it for the little liquid compartment a fresh pack of makeup wipes even though i don't think i'm gonna wear makeup much and then contact solution obviously because a bitch is blind bringing a soap this one's from rinse which is another small business and then a nail clipper I hope you enjoyed the video. My biggest tip and takeaway when it came to packing for this trip is basics are your friend. Don't bring any statement outfits that you feel like you're only gonna be able to wear once. Even if you're bringing a nice dress, make it very, make it simple. Something that you can dress up with accessories, which are tiny to pack, right? Or something that you can throw a cute cardigan on top of and make a completely different look from one day to the next, that is really the key. I'm not even bringing that much jewelry or accessories with me, but you definitely can if you feel comfortable doing so. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched my life update or any of the videos before that, I am headed to the Dominican Republic for a month, specifically Punta Cana. That is my first month and the second month Y'all gonna have to stay posted for that. So excited, such an exciting place that I'm headed to next. Don't mind the fact that I literally have two nails missing already. I'll see you in my next one.